Opinionated winner. Whoa, whoa, wait, what? Do you think men like opinionated winner? Uh, we already know what the answer to that is. Oh, hell no! Bro, opinionated women are the most annoying women. Like, they really are. Like, women that just can't keep their mouth shut and always have an opinion on something. And usually when these opinionated women, they're usually wrong about, like, at least 60% of the shit they're saying. It's just so annoying having an opinionated woman. Let's be factually right. Let's not have opinions and just say whatever we feel. It's just ridiculous. Honestly, you don't. Wait, she said what? Honestly, you don't. She said you don't. All snappy, like oh my god. Guys don't see. You can tell she's opinionated. Like which one of you guys want to deal with her and her attitude? Opinionated women are just headaches, bro. Like, They're just headaches. Like, keep your opinion to yourself. Like, Never honestly. Ever heard the phrase "women are to be seen and not be heard"? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. She got hit with that one. Oh yeah. Um, I've heard it. Um, I've heard it. She, man, you've heard the phrase. Just follow it. I don't agree with it. Okay. Of course you wouldn't agree with it. Why don't you agree with it? someone like that go find someone like no, that but, but let me ask you this. most guys want that like what are we talking about are we, are we coming home like just hoping and wishing that our woman is ready to hit us with a, a, a bunch of opinions when we get home you heard the phrase correct that goes for both and it's parties. a common and it's a common saying why they actually have it in spanish too oh so yeah it's commonly said in spanish so yeah. okay okay the reason why it's a common phrase is because it's kind of how things have worked for a long time. Yeah. But, but modern women want to change everything. That's why modern women stay single. Women in general typically aren't the most attractive to most men. Yeah, because they don't look like alpha women. No, because we don't like that. It's just annoying. Like, who the hell wants to deal with someone who just has an opinion every second and most of it is wrong? So you're just correcting them all day or just telling them to shut up. Like, it, it's not because... Of what she said, we don't want to. Yeah, we don't want an alpha woman because that just means all alpha means is that you're masculine. So yeah, we don't want an alpha woman, and we don't want to deal with your annoyances. So yeah. Yeah, because alpha woman is low key the breadwinner too. So when you run into a breadwinner, see, look at this woman. She people are talking right now, and she's just talking over them. Like she thinks she's dropping the mic right now, like just talking over everyone. Like, but no one even knows what she's saying. But this is what we don't want to deal with. Like, she just has to get out what she's going to say. It's like, you you probably aren't even listening. But she thinks she just needs to hear herself talk. It's like, women like this are just so annoying. It's like, they just need to get out what they're going to say, no matter what, at any cost. Like, it's just so bad. Let's look at look at this girl. See, everyone's talking, and she listen to this. So now she's talking. Watch this, and then watch in the background how everyone else starts talking. She still keeps going, but no one's listening. Watch. See, see, see? tell me that's not ridiculous, man. Stay away from women that need to do that and need to be heard. Please do. You'll save yourself a headache. She's still going. And then it's like she drops the mic. <laughs> it's like, it's like oh my god. Term. So when you say alpha, all you're basically saying is masculine woman. See? Yeah, basically. Yeah. yeah. In opinion, women as well. But we, I also we don't. I mean, yeah. Okay, men. Okay, but an, an opinion, yeah. I mean, being disagreeable is a masculine trait. Very masculine. Now, yeah. let me ask you do you think men like masculine women? No. Some do. No. Nope. Here we go with that some stuff. That some is like a. Two, three percent number. Like, what are we talking about? Like, why do they always have to try to like win the argument? Even though it's not winning in the argument, they think they're winning the argument. So all they're doing is just destroying the conversation and making it just unbearable. Because it's like, bro, no, we don't operate in the few and some. We operate in the many. We operate in the majority. It's just like, bro, just because you find an outlier to try to make your argument it doesn't mean your argument is correct. It just means you're annoying. That's just all that means. The answer is most don't. Well, let me ask you: Would you date a guy that wore heels on Saturdays? <laughs> oh my god! And if you were if you were giving dating advice to a woman, would you give her dating advice for the few amount of guys that would accept the BS, or would you give her advice based on what you're probably going to be running into for ninety five percent of the time? Like, let's be honest: like these women want to operate in the exception, but that is why you're losing.
Absolutely not. Wait, what did he say? Was on Saturdays. Wait, what? Well, let me ask you. Would you date a guy that wore heels on Saturdays? Oh. No. Nope. <laughs> Oh my she knows. She knows the answer, guys. Look at how she turns away. She knows the answer is no. She looks at him. Watch this, guys. Watch when she he asks this. Look at what she does. She looks at him, then looks away because that means no. That's covert uh, communication right there. How women like to communicate. So she covertly turns her head, which means no, by the way, and then looks away, and then says some might. That means no, guys. Well, let me ask you, would you date a guy that wore heels on Saturdays? See, look at her. <laughs> looks away. Now she looks away, thinking about it, because she knows it's a hell freaking no. She knows. Oh, hell no. Now, look. Me personally, no. Would, me uh, personally, no. Most women are saying no. Most heterosexual women, 99% of heterosexual women that are looking for a man that is heterosexual is not going to go out on a date with a man that's wearing high heels. Like, the fact that we have to even talk about this, the fact that, like, she has to argue this and, like, has to find a loophole and a way to just combat and be combative is why she's single and is why you avoid modern women like this. This is exactly why. Why would you want to deal with this? Someone that's just trying to argue, to argue. Someone who's just trying to be right. Someone who's finding outliers to fit their argument. Like, why would you want to deal with that? Like, it's just stupid. It's annoying. A lot of people will. Oh, okay, so why do you expect a man to like a masculine woman if you don't like a feminine man? What do you um, See, and then she looked up and looked away. Because she knows that's a valid question. There is no reason. Like, the answer is there is no reason. He shouldn't accept it, nor should she. That's the answer. But let's see what she says. There's Because there's such a thing as the Kinsey scale. The, and... Oh, my gosh, guys. We can't just concede, right? Can't just concede. And, you okay. Know, like people, you know, sexuality is. Fluid. How many people even know what the Kenzie scale even means? Like it's like, what are we even talking about? The answer would be hell no. There's some, you know, some, men that like some, more masculine some, women. No, and... there are very, very few men that like masculine women. Very few, very few. There's some women that like, like we're not we're not talking about the guys that sleep with masculine women. We're saying what are men marrying? Men are not marrying masculine women. They're just not. They're not. Men and men. That's okay. True. Let's That's say nice. the most desirable men that are the most masculine. Do you think they want? And this is why you don't sleep with terrible behaving women because they think oh because he slept with me it means I have a chance to get married. Wait, what? No. Women. It depends on what they like. Do you think the most no, masculine men that women typically find the most attractive? Want masculine women in return? No. no. Typically, no. no. Okay. So, wouldn't it be fair to say that if you want to get the best guy that you can get, you're more than likely going to have to be feminine to a degree so, and yes. get rid of that masculinity? So the, the, best guy the answer to that would be yes. But let's let's see the combativeness. Let's see the the gymnastics of the mind. Most what? masculine guy is what you're saying? No, you can continue to be who you are, but you got to deal with the consequences. Consequences, of right? You, you have to deal with him rejecting you. If you're going to be masculine, you got to deal with him not never taking you to the next step because you're being masculine. <laughs> More than likely not get an assertive, dominant, attractive male that's traditionally masculine yeah. if you're a masculine woman. That doesn't really matter. That's not what you... It doesn't matter because that's what men want. See? She's like, why does that even matter? Because that's what men want. Like, that's why it matters. Listen to this again. That's traditionally masculine if you're a masculine woman. That doesn't really matter if that's not what you'd like to begin with. Right. We already just... See, now we're talking circles, guys. Because we already stated that 95% of guys want a feminine woman. Now she's saying, why does it matter if you, that's not really what you want? 95% of guys want that. What are we talking about? Like, it's just... It's that need to be right again. It's like... What? What? Some women like feminine men. Some... Bruh, most women do not like feminine men. And if it is a feminine, if she does like feminine men, she's ultra masculine. That's the only way that works. Like, she doesn't know what she's talking about, guys. She just wants to win the argument. But she's failing miserably. And, okay. like, to, to sure. them, like, a masculine man is, like, okay, like, whatever. You see it as, No. Like, <laughs> it's not whatever. That's the way it's supposed to be. Like, what is she talking about? The grand prize. Like, whatever. But to them, it's, like, nothing. Because they're just lot. not into that. She, yeah, this girl doesn't know what she's talking about. She She's trying... Heavily, but feeling miserably to win this argument, but it's it's going really bad for her. 
That's a lie. Women overwhelmingly prefer a more masculine, dominant man. And it's not even close. Like, it's not even close. The fact that we have to even talk about this and argue about this just shows you the mindset, mainly of her. Like, she's just a combative, argumentative person. Like, women like this, you want to avoid, like, the plague. Because you get nothing out of this. So you get sex. Then what? I get a headache after that? Over and over and over? Like, come on now. And if you don't believe me, what is the most popular book? Amongst women. Isn't it, hold on, I'm going to guess, isn't it Fifty Shades? And why is that? Because women are freaky. They like that freaky shit. They don't like that good boy nonsense. That's all you got to look at. Look at the copy sold of Fifty Shades of Grey, guys. Women are buying it in hordes, okay? So don't tell me that being a good guy is gets you what you want. Fifty Shades of Grey. What does that book exemplify? Literally, well, who's, who's the character in Fifty Shades of Grey? It's a rich, young overly sexualized man, right? With a, a room full of crazy sex toys and domination, right? That's what women want. That's what women desire. They can't say it publicly because it makes them look bad to society. But if you ask them behind closed doors, they'll tell you they're into that shit. Like, what are we talking about? A man that is attractive, tall, income, dominant, etc., he exudes, exactly. He, said, he has all the traits. He, that he women... literally has all the traits that every woman desires. Like literally every single woman on this planet would desire that man if he took her. That's the point. And that's why every woman buys a copy of that movie, book, whatever, because they get to live that fantasy or try to. Women traditionally look for in men. Now, are there some weird exceptions of women that like feminine men? Absolutely. Yeah, There's but, but hold on things. though. Those are gross, gross exceptions though. Gross. But again, exceptions don't make the rule. Ever. If I line up 100 yeah. women, they're going to want a traditionally masculine man. 95 of them. Easily. Fun, but, like, but, but she wants to get caught up in the five of them just so she can be right. But she's still wrong because just because you found five of them, but there's still 95 of them that want that. That doesn't make you right. It just makes you an idiot and trying to win an argument that you lost. I'm just saying, you know, you're generalizing and I'm just saying, well... <laughs> Generalizing is how you get information across. Like, what are we talking about? Because she just wants to win the argument. We want to focus on the five women, even though it doesn't really show what the world is doing. I have no cases otherwise. Okay, whatever. Well, what yeah, this is generalities is how the world works. Right. That's what I'm like. You, how do you think the world operates? The world operates on generalities. We don't operate on exceptions. Like, no. That, yes, exactly. Like, but, I don't know how any of these women pass math class. Like. Exceptions do not make the rule. That's always what it is. I mean, you asked and I answered. That's it. You asked me why and that's it. Yeah, you answered, but you were totally, grossly incorrect. What I'm saying is that masculine women are not attractive just like feminine men are not. Yeah. And that's it. That's, that's the basis. Period. Disagreeableness. Like, guys that are feminine aren't getting scooped up off the street, and women that are masculine aren't getting scooped up down the aisle. Like, they're not. I mean, like, the fact that we have to argue about this just shows you this woman right here is just a headache. She's a pretty girl wrapped in a headache, man. It's not worth it. Dodge, Alpha is not attractive to the majority that. of men. That's all I'm saying. Dodger. Okay, you had started saying that they're not attractive, period. I they're was not. Saying... <laughs> they're not. That's why they're, most of them are not taken. The stats speak for us. I think it depends who the attraction is for. Yeah. What Which... it, men and women, what are we talking about? See, guys, like, she's just an arguer. The majority of men is not attractive. She, she's an mm -hmm. arguer, guys. To a majority guys. of men, alpha women, as you guys like to say, which is nothing more than a masculine woman, is not attractive. It's yeah. not. Yeah, typically, yeah. It, it's yeah. not attractive. Like, let's let's stop worrying about the, the guys that you'll never see or never even want to talk to. Like, it's just, it's about winning the argument, guys. Which she's losing, by the way. I'm, I'm not disagreeing with you on that, but I'm just saying... So then why the hell are you even arguing? Because she's an arguer, guys. That's why. You know, the Kinsey scale exists, and there's women that... But who the hell follows that? Like, come on now. There's some women that like feminine men, and vice versa. That's all. Um, no, there's very few women that like feminine men. Let's say the phrase properly. Like, let's please, like, words mean something. You can't just be saying anything. This is why you gotta, like, shut people up when they're saying stuff that's wrong. I was trying to say. Okay, I wasn't trying that, to make up like this whole thing. If that scale is highlighting stand minorities. What you're saying with confidence. She said line. make up this whole thing, but she's talking about a Kenzie scale, guys. Hmm? Yeah. Stand on what you're saying, because they're going to eat us up regardless. 
Yeah, fuck those guys. I mean, that's the whole point of the show. That's kind of the whole point of the show. No room I mean, again, that, that scale only highlights a minority. Right. Like, it's always the minority to win your argument. It's like, can we live in reality for half a second? Okay. Just because someone is a minority doesn't... Okay, okay. just because somebody is a minority. What, what, what's this stupid argument going to be? Let's hear this. Negate its existence. That's not what we're saying. See, now it's about winning the argument. Just because it's just an exception doesn't mean it doesn't matter. Like, well, we're saying that it's not attractive. That's it. Like, that's and it's true. And the minority it's is a lot bigger than you think. You, th- you no, see it's, it's not. And the majority is a lot larger than you think. <laughs> But, like, given how many people are actually on the planet, like... It's not oh, that many people. Go 10%, or whatever percent that it's seems negligible. Actually yes, actually less... It's, it's the, way less than that. To the majority, absolutely, but... If you line up 4 billion... Well, let's say 3.9 billion men, and then 100,000 men... <laughs> what are we talking about here? Because that's what it comes down to. So we're saying 3.9... Billion men are are not attracted to this, and then there's a hundred thousand that might be. So we're saying these hundred thousand is what we should go by. Okay, all right. They make up of that just shows you they don't understand how much like numbers work, like how that actually looks, like visualizing that. Like if they actually understood that, they wouldn't even be saying this nonsense. Population. No, they're, 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 by default, they're insignificant because they're, they're minority. minority. Right. That made no sense, your argument. At all. She's just trying to win an argument, but she's literally failing miserably. Like, it's just, like, it's it's painful. It's painful. I see, I get it. You're trying, to be, you're trying to be all-inclusive, which is a very, you know, noble thing, I guess, but the reality is, is that it's not statistically insignificant. It's a minority. Right. Okay, what I'm trying to say is that... We know uh, what you're trying to say. Like, you can say it 10 trillion times. It's not going to make sense. Like, at all. Hundred people out of a thousand people is yes, those hundred people are the minority, but when you look at it, it's still a hundred people. It's and not it it's not significant. Sort of There's still a thousand. What about the thousand people? people? Like no, it's not significant. Like what are we talking about? It's like ridiculous. What if those two groups go to war? Who's winning? Like think of it that way. Like it's just like no, yes, no, no. Actually. She's, oh she's out of her she's mind. A minority. She's, she's still. Right? She's out of her so mind, yo. Yeah. She's literally. She's literally out of her mind. She does look. She does look like that. Like women will make arguments for the minority. Or right. Statistically because they're trying to win the argument. That's why. But they lost. Like once you start arguing on the minority, you lost. Like you lose because you're grasping for straws at that point. Uh, situations, but like again, masculine women aren't attractive. Group. Like it's just it's just a fact. Like masculine women are not attractive. It's because women are also just like fat people. guys aren't that attractive. Okay, there might be a few here and there that find a mate, but most generally, fat guys or fat women are not attractive. They're just like, group, the same thing. Tend to speak for most marginalized groups. Men, straight white men, are not typically. They're not the marginalized group. Everybody else will typically speak for marginalized groups. Because men are hierarchy based. Compassion. Well, here's huh? the thing. Men are hierarchy based and production based. Men typically Absolutely. tend to be less communitarian than yeah. women are. That's why women overwhelmingly vote Democrat. And they vote yeah. for government programs that give handouts versus yeah. men. Is hey, you did the best. We're going to go off yeah. of merit versus what we feel. Right. There's never been a need yeah. for men to communicate because they've always just gotten what they wanted. She said there's never been a need for men to communicate. So if men don't have a need to communicate, how do we get wives? How do we take over countries? How do we uh, con- congregate people and places? How do we build things? She doesn't even make sense. Like her, like she, like she, Everything she says is just nonsense. Like anything she feels. By force. Wait, what? And even if the, even if that were true, even if you took something by force, you still would have to communicate at some point. But she, it's just an argument that she just wants to throw out there. I have no idea. No need for men to communicate about. and have like these. It's, you're saying that like they don't have those you know communication skills that you had just mentioned. It's not no, what he you... said not as much as women. See, she doesn't even listen. Like that's like if you're gonna argue a point, it would be best to at least listen first and then know what the question was before you start arguing she's literally arguing just to argue and she doesn't even know what the question is you have just said 
about communication, the hierarchy. She shouldn't even know. No, she just, she's on like autopilot, arguing, about autopilot. No, that what you had just said now, that you, men Something are, you should remember what he said. Don't argue something you don't even know what was said. Hierarchical and, like, something about being See? communicative. Isn't that what you had just said? No, women no. are more communitarian. Communitarian. See, yes. she, she, she doesn't even know. know what communitarian means. It means you're more about the community. It has nothing to do with communication, what she was arguing that whole segment right there. So she literally just wasted our time. She wasn't even arguing the correct word. But women, okay. Yes. Um, what are you saying right now, man? Seriously, yeah. though. That's what I've been trying to figure out this whole time. Saying. What is she saying? What I said is... Because you said men, uh, like she's literally just women care arguing, about just to argue. Yeah. What I'm saying is that men care about what really matters and are more merit based, not communitarian. Women are communitarian, which means, oh, let's help everybody. Let's include out. everyone. Yeah. They want the they want to include everyone, but it's different on the other side. Sometimes that's not a reality at all. Um, Sorry, cool. that's not. Now yes, she just went to reality, argue. But okay. Like, for example, argue, it's argue, capitalism argue, is an argue, inherently argue, masculine argue, form argue. of government. Yeah. I have a real question. Do any of you guys want to be around a woman like this, man? Like, the other women haven't even opened their mouths. And this woman right here just wants to argue. You're sounding stupider and stupider. Like, who would want to deal with that? You come home from work, kicking the world's ass, and you're debating with this woman about nonsense. And she's just wrong on everything. Like, wouldn't that piss you the hell off? It I works. Um, to an extent, it works for those. Are you not the best country in the world right now? To an extent, mm, I wouldn't. She said, mm, "I wouldn't." All right, if this ain't the best country in the world, go to Africa, and live there. Go to Ispandal or whatever that country's name. Go, go to Turkey. Go to Antarctica. If we're not the best country, she won't do that though. Because it's I'm all not, about arguing. I'm not gonna say yes, and I'm not gonna Ar say. Because it's all about arguing. Gotta argue, 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 argue. You can't get anywhere with a woman like this. You get no. There's a lot of countries. In the world. You can't. You literally. Worse. You literally can't get anywhere with her. She just wants to argue everything. Like she'll argue what you put on your burger. Like it's just like, bruh, can we just like get and by? Uh, See, you're just being disagreeable. Right. She she's masculine as hell because she disagrees with everything, which is a masculine ass trait. So it's like, it's clear as day. Like, she literally repels men. <laughs> like, you are the she's a man repeller. Being like, yeah, I she can't. doesn't even realize it. She doesn't even realize she's disagreeing with everything. She's saying water is dry right now, guys. Like, it's like, what are we doing? Best. Oh, what defines best is best. Okay. Like, that's just subjective. Uh, men do. <laughs> like, oh, we're the number one world power right now. We're the number one world power. By, by, so it is a fact that the United States is the number one country. Yeah, but Russia, Russia definitely. You, um, these are, and these are things you can look up. She's like, what determines that's the best? Um, statistics? Uh, the gatherings of the world? Yeah. They actually keep this stuff down. We all have access to this. But she just wants to argue. She doesn't even know, like, at all. And she's arguing. It's like, you don't even know the information, and you're just arguing. Um, on the head. What? You know, they still running shit, too. Russia? Huh? Yes. Over the U.S.? Russia is no, not running No, I'm saying, like, they're anything. all in sync. They're all moving. Okay, all right. 